part of the school, I've been particularly excited about showing you the fully revamped sports facilities. In a moment, I'm going to be one of the first people privileged to come into this fresh out of the box sports hall. And what facilities, just look at the size of this. And here to show us round is head of PE, Callum Thompson. Callum, hello. Hi. <gasps> This is amazing. You must be so proud. Really proud, really incredible. Uh, just can't wait now to start using it. The detail in it, I mean, you've got the sprung floor, the acoustic panels even. Yeah, so we used to have uh, an old concrete, concrete floor, but now with a sprung floor, um, the, the walls are actually painted so you can track the flight of the shuttle. Um, we've put in extra basketball court, so we really are in a, p a position we can start excelling with our indoor space. And what sports have you got on offer here? Starting where we are now, we've got obviously basketball, we've got netball in here, we've got badminton, uh, we've got volleyball, then we go into our outside spaces and we've got football, our traditional sports, hockey, netball outside in our courts, rugby. Um, but of late, we've started to put some more dynamic things on the timetable. So we've started to do um, girls football in line with um, the Lionesses. So we've really driving girls football. Um, I'm passionate about CrossFit, so I've put that on the curriculum. Um, we've had some parkour, so we really do have a really broad spectrum for our, for our students to engage in. That's really interesting because that sounds like that there really is something for everyone. If you're a team player, fantastic, if, you know, a more of a solo based sport is your thing. But equally, it sounds like you've got a real mix of competitive, but also yeah. about fitness. Yeah, we were really conscious that we were, we were excelling and doing really well in our team sports. Um, but we found that that really narrowed it for our for our students and there was a sort of a large cohort that were missing out on the, the you know the fantastic uh, feeling that it is to represent the school so we've broadened that by bringing in those those more dynamic sports and actually found that those students that don't normally come down after school um, are here and, and and they're really engaging in what we offer so that was part of our remit and, and uh, my team and i discussed what can we offer what can we do to to maximise our participation. So that's why we start seeing those, those um, less traditional sports on our curriculum. So there's something for weathers, there's something for if you just want to have fun, that's fine. But if you do want to compete, I mean, I've seen your impressive range of trophies out there. Yeah, so we've got, that's where our traditional sports lie. And that's where, you know, we do excel and we do really well. And we've got, um, d you know, depending on the, the season, so we start off in our rugby season. Um, and then we go on to our football season for the boys and then we've got hockey and netball for the girls. They're our more traditional and then we can start um, looking at our sports, uh, our athletics, our sports day. And, and um, so they are some, some individual and team sports that are more traditional, but um, our students can really get stuck into and, and start representing the school.